channel. My name is Allie if you have not been here before and thank you so much for watching this video. So for today's video, I wanted to show you guys how I've been curling my hair lately. I feel like it changes every month. Um, but lately I've been curling it like this and I'm kind of obsessed and now that my hair has grown out a little bit, I'm able to use a curling iron with a little bit bigger of a barrel and you get more of that kind of like a beachy kind of lived in look which i've been loving lately so i hope you guys are excited for this tutorial but before we get started please make sure you subscribe to my channel if you haven't already hit that notification bell so you're notified every single time i upload if you guys enjoy this video as always i really really appreciate a thumbs up and leave a comment down below letting me know what else you guys would like to see from me i'll definitely be sure to link all these products for you guys so that you can use them when you do your hair also linked down below is my instagram as well as my Poshmark where you can shop my closet. I've also got my presets linked down there as well that you can now purchase if you like my editing style for Instagram. And that's it. I hope you guys enjoy the video and just keep watching if you want to see me do this hair. So I actually blew out my hair last night so that's why it's kind of straight and it's got some nice curve to the end here which obviously you don't need but I actually kind of like how I have a little bit of curl on the ends of my hair. Um, I think it makes this look look a tiny bit more natural. So that's why I like it. I'm going to section off my hair first. And for heat protection, I'm using the Way Heat Protection Spray. I'm going to try to remember to use this on every section, but... Knowing myself, I will probably forget. The first hot tool I'm going to be using is this Babyliss curling iron. I don't remember exactly what it's called. Oh, it says it right here. Nano Titanium. And this is the one and a half inch barrel. Looks like one and a half inch. I'm pretty sure it's one and a half inch. I am wanting more of like a voluminous, bouncy look today. Um, so that's why I'm using the one and a half inch. So basically you start by curling it, wrapping it around once. And then I'm gonna unwrap it very carefully because I burn my neck almost every time I do this. And then I wrap it up once more and kind of like move down the barrel. I leave about an inch and a half out. And then I'm just gonna pull it straight down. Just like that, I'm gonna let it chill. I'm not going to touch it yet. Um, so that first piece I curled away from my face and now I'm going to curl towards my face. Pretty much for all the layers I'm going to kind of keep that same pattern. Um, once I get towards the top of my hair I do change it up a little bit. If you're not used to curling your hair like this I would definitely recommend practicing it while your curling iron is off just so you can kind of get the hang and the rhythm of the whole motion. So once again, on this side, I'm gonna start away from my face. Like so. Please don't burn my neck. I typically use a one and one fourth inch curling iron when I do this look, but um, because I'm wanting more of like a bouncy kind of curled look today for the shoot that I'm doing, um, I did decide to use the one and a half inch. Same thing, I'm literally just repeating that same pattern over and over and over again leaving the ends out and starting away from the face and continuing on. I'm going to show you guys slowly one more time how I do the curling. So like I said, I'm going to curl it around once, hold it for a few seconds, then unwind it. And as you guys can see, like you see how it's like twisted in the barrel and then pull down so you get like a bit more of a curl there i'll do it once more the opposite way and then i'm going to speed things up because these videos just end up being way too long 
wrapping it around once and again this is towards the face now and you can even if you want more of that kind of tighter wrapped curl you can undo it again and wrap it around even once more and you get a bit more of like a more like mermaidy type of curl once everything's like dried not dried cool down <laughs> all right i'm going to speed you up now because this is gonna get really really repetitive literally doing the same thing over and over and over again Okay, so for this last section, I'm gonna do it a little bit differently. I'm gonna curl away from my face for like the first three sections that I pick up, and then I'll curl towards my face. You could certainly keep going with the same pattern, like away, towards, away, towards. For some reason, I just feel like it looks kind of weird when I have curls that are going towards my face a little too close to the front of my face, um, if that makes any sense. So I do the first 
few pieces um, away from my face. The other thing you want to do, and you might have noticed as the time lapse was going, these face framing pieces I do kind of pull towards my face. Um, I don't want to curl too much like back like this or else I feel like everything just looks like a little too back. I don't know, you guys can kind of see like how I have like an arch here just like kind of moving away from my face. So I want these pieces to come a little bit forward. And the face framing pieces, I don't leave on the curling iron too long because I don't want them to be like too curly. I'll curl away from my face. And if you guys can see this piece, I started the curl a little bit further down, like towards my brow, which I kind of like that look. I feel like it looks a little bit more natural, um, but you can certainly start at the top if you really want to. I'm gonna do one more piece away from my face and then this last piece I'll curl towards my face. I'm actually going to try something different than what I normally do. I'm going to spray my texture spray before I actually like let all the curls out. On this side, it's still cooling down a little bit, so I'm going to try it on this side first. So this is the Ella Lou's Dry Texture Finishing Spray. I absolutely adore this stuff. I'm just going to spray that, and then I'm just going to kind of fluff it, get all those curls out. That looks pretty good. I think I like that method. I think I saw a tutorial of like a hairstylist doing that. So that's where I got the inspo. I did definitely did not make up that whole technique on my own. All right, so this is the final look, and I must say, tutorials do not always turn out well, and I'm actually very excited about how this hair came out. It's nice and big and messy and beachy. That is the vibe, and that's exactly what I got, so I'm very excited. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, please don't forget to give it a thumbs up. I would really appreciate that, and leave a comment down below on what else you guys would like to see from me. I hope you have an amazing rest of your day, and I will see you guys in the next video. Bye!